Hello, everybody, and welcome back to more Kickstarter crap. Okay, let me start off by addressing the elephant in the room. The elephant in the room is obviously the shit that's on my face. Now, before you go saying, hey, I dubs, you're a gay retard, just hold the phone. I know, I look like a gay retard, all right? I'm fine with that, all right? I've, I've been wearing these things for the past five days because I contracted... A terrible case of pink eye from Comic-Con. As, as some of you might know, I was at Comic-Con over the past week. So uh, I contracted pink eye. I believe it was from sleeping on a pillow that someone swabbed their ass with. I'm not quite sure, but in any case, no contacts, okay? Can't wear contacts for the next fucking week or so. So uh, get used to it now. You might see more videos of me wearing these lovely spectacles. Today we're going to take a look at two different Kickstarter projects that both have to do with PewDiePie. Love him or hate him, a lot of people love him, and a lot of people are willing to make Kickstarter projects about him. The first one is aptly titled PewDiePie Game. I want to make a game where you play as PewDiePie. And uh, it has a low resolution image of PewDiePie doing a bro fist. Now, um, you know, this is, we expected this. What, what, what would you have guessed? You would have said, oh, fucking hell. Like, if a fan of PewDiePie is going to make anything, it's going to be a low resolution of him saying, I want to make a PewDiePie game. <laughs> and if you continue to read, it says, I want to make the fans of PewDiePie proud and do the bro arm it proud. So as a bonus for anyone that donates over 100, they will get a chance to test the game before anyone sees it. So, Felix, if you see this man, I hope I make a game you're proud to have your name on. Okay, so, uh, you know, it's the exact verbiage you would come to expect, right? Now, uh, this, this guy, he, he might not have that accent, but since Felix is a, a foreigner, I like to, uh, I like to razz him a little bit. As you guys know from watching plenty of my Kickstarter projects, the risks and challenges section is always full of dog shit. That is usually when people just fall apart because they have no idea what to put. That is like the curveball of all curveballs. It's like, oh shit, they want me to like denigrate my project? I don't want to do that. So what can I possibly say? I'm, I'm only here to take money, so I, I gotta make it sound good, right? And uh, sure enough, this one stays really tight to the formula. There is no risk unless I don't raise enough money. <laughs> no risk, you say. Okay. You're making a PewDiePie game. No risk whatsoever. He, he, might, he might be onto something, right? PewDiePie game, no risk? Bah, fuck it. Give him... How much money does he need anyway? Oh, 20000 Well, at least he's on point with his, with his money. I mean, it's going to cost a lot more, but that's like... Yeah. It's, it's in the ballpark, you know? Now we're going to take a look at the reward tiers. The first reward tier is $5, and it says, You get to say, I helped make this game. Nope, you don't get an email, you don't get a letter, you don't get a postcard. For $5, you get to say something. Freedom of speech. It should just be the freedom of speech tier, where you could just say whatever shit you want. You get to say anything to anybody you want to for five measly dollars. What if I want something for $10? What can you offer me then? Oh, well, uh, this buys everything I need to get this off the ground. <laughs> this buys... What does that mean? What in, what in all shits does that even mean? So, so your funding goal shouldn't be $20,000. It should be $10, right? That's what you're saying? Your funding goal should be $10. This is everything I need to get the, this off the ground. Okay, so... Let's say it's all a typo. Let's move on to the next tier. 25 no, $20. This will be the bulk of the contributions to buy software, artists, programmers, ect. I don't know what ect means, but uh, I'm going to assume that uh, that's, a, that's a mistype. All right, so uh, he's getting software artists. All right, great. Love software artists, programmers. Oh, yeah, that's all. There's Because there's no commas there. It's software artists, programmers. So... We're looking at programmers who know how to uh, program artificial intelligence that paint pictures. That's essentially what that, w that string of words means. <laughs> the $50 tier says a 20 min's Skype call to talk about the game and have some of your input into the creation of the game. 
I'm 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 certain that's going to take place. I'm certain for for fifty dollars you're going to get. I mean, this is I'm I'm going to be honest. This is appropriately priced because a lot of other people, people who want to make YouTube channels, you, you know what they do? They say five hundred dollars and you get a Skype call with me. <laughs> I don't think PewDiePie would even say five hundred dollars you get a Skype call with me. I I don't think he even he is that much of a fuckwad. For the $100 tier, it says you will get a digital video on the process of everything it took to make the video. You will get a video on everything it took to make the video? What does that mean? Is that videoception? You're not, you're making a game, not a video. It says, it says at the fucking top, it says PewDiePie game. It doesn't say video. What is this guy? Is he on crack? This guy needs to put down the crack pipe or the fucking binky, whatever, whatever it is. He's either high on crack or he's too small to even know how to use a keyboard. The $500 tier says you get an early copy of the game plus everything before the lower levels. All right, so clearly it's a $500 game. We know that thus far. Pay $500 and you get a PewDiePie game. I, I don't know if that's fairly priced. It's hard, it's hard for me to say. I think... $500 might be a little steep for a, a game. Moving on to the next PewDiePie project, we have one called To Become Like PewDiePie on YouTube. Ah, uh, well, isn't that everyone's dream? To become like PewDiePie. Okay, hopefully this is where all those ballet lessons are gonna pay off for me. Oh, this is intense! Get out of the way, creeper! He's being all grabby. No! Oh my god! Oh! This is intense! Get out of the way, creeper! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. So <laughs> this is the this is the top-notch commentary you'd expect from uh, from someone who's trying to emulate PewDiePie, right? You know, it's <laughs> it's it's fucking exactly like PewDiePie, right? Now, uh, now let's listen to the extremely ungenuine scream. Uh, let's check out the library. <laughs> Ouch! Oh my god. You son of a bitch. Woo! Just like PewDiePie. Sick. Love it, man. <laughs> Fucking love it. And of course, the risks and challenges are as feeble as the previous one. I know most of the guys will not fund this project because this is not a project. But to me, this is life. Please help me do it. That's not a risk nor a challenge. That's just you fucking complaining about how people aren't going to fund you because you know it's not a project. <laughs> you say, I know this isn't a project, but please go easy on me. Please don't feature me on Kickstarter crap. Please don't. Obviously, if you're trying to make it big like PewDiePie, you need to start off big. And that's exactly what this project has done because it has two reward tiers. One for $100, and another for $200. So, if you have any desire to back this project, you better have a fat fucking wallet because the, the smallest amount you're able to fund it for is $100. That is the minimum tier. No, I, I, it says, so even if you donate $1, that can be helpful. Well, bullshit, I can't do that because your lowest tier is $100, you piece of shit. They, they, they try to use the buzzwords, they try, anything helps. That's the one you're going to hear all the time, too. Anything helps. You know, even just reach out to me. It's like, you, you haven't even fucking provided, like, a Twitter link. How the fuck am I supposed to reach out to you, goddamn idiot? Alright guys, that's going to do it for us today. I tried to keep this video a little bit short, and I hope that I was able to accomplish that. Uh, I have the iDubs Complains video in the works. I'm having a hard time trying to make it different enough from this video, which is why it's sort of taking me a long time. Plus, I just timed it really poorly because I was gone at Comic-Con, and uh, I was, I was just uh, a little bit strapped for time. So, thank you so much for watching. This has been Kickstarter Tr Kickstarter Trap. Ugh, Kickstarter Trap. A lot of these are traps, to be quite honest. Taking a look at two PewDiePie Kickstarter projects, more like Pewdie Don't or something. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to Facebook, Twitter, YouTube.com slash iDubsTV. And remember to tune in next time when I look at my laryngitis. When I look 
at my laryngitis. Lar laryngitis. You can't look at laryngitis. Uh, maybe under a microscope you can look at laryngitis. I don't fucking know. That was a bad one. That was an example of a bad one. Okay, good. I mean, bad, good. I can't see anything right now. I fucking, like, yeah, it was really weird. I, like, pink eye was apparently the medical definition that they, or medical term they were able to give me. That's actually the layman term. It was called fucking fibromyalgia of the eye. It's, it had some fucking scientific word that I don't remember at all. Uh, and uh, I, I looked it up on Wikipedia and it said parentheses pink eye. So I'm like, okay, it's, that's a really vague term to use. So apparently pink eye, if you want to like use the most generic term for any, any problem with your eye, you can call it pink eye. I thought pink eye was more specific, like feces in your eye, but apparently it's dander, lint, dirt, soot, scratches, abrasions, any of that shit can be considered pink eye, which uh, which leads to your uh, actual the whites of your eyes being a little pink. So it's it's a little bit bullshit to be quite honest. But uh, they got me steroids to put in my eyes, so I'm gonna be dropping some steroids in my eyes, and um, also going to be I don't know masturbating. And my eyes can't get any worse. 